What is going on survivors today where you're going to be talking about ha taming the micro raptor? Listen here moose thing. I'm in the middle of recording a video. You better just go over there somewhere. Oh gosh, there's a spine over there. This might not be a good environment for me at all. Maybe we should go over here. Um, anyway, taming the micro raptor. These guys, you typically see them in the redwoods, little packs of them here and there. And uh, yeah, they like to run after you when you're on a mountain, knock you over, knock you off the mountain, stun you for a good long time, and uh, take you out and make it really detrimental to you hanging around in the redwoods because usually when you're stunned, everything else wants to try to kill you as well. These guys are often confused with the Archaeopteryx, the little hang glider birds that are typically out here in the redwoods. Those are quite passive and will flee if you try to hit them. Uh, Microraptors, on the other hand, definitely will come after you without, without a hitch kind of almost troodon-esque in the face but yeah they're a little bit they look a little bit different than the archaeopteryx if you have them up close to each other plus like i said usually the archaeopteryx will just run away from you or just it'll try to escape it won't come after you the microraptors will genuinely go after you all the time one of the big things i noticed with this guy is like i said he will knock you off your mounts most of the pretty much any of the small to mid-sized mounts that you can ride and even some of the larger mounts if they can come close enough to you, they will dismount you and stun you. This works whether they're tamed or not tamed. So in the wild will do this, but even when you tame them, they can still do this, making them incredibly useful in PvP for knocking other players off their mounts to try to get rid of them. Super, super useful. Um, even just one of these on your shoulder as a shoulder pet following you around, they have decent stats, so they're nothing to really turn your nose up at. They're really not that bad. Uh, this is only level 29. As we can see, the health is not too terribly bad, but the melee damage and it moves pretty quick, for a shoulder pet, like a defensive shoulder pet, I think the, the, the Dimorphodon is probably a little bit better of a bet. Um, but these guys are pretty cool. Um, these guys do get a pack bonus, so you can actually have like a small pack of them and they'll get bonuses much like, like uh, kind of like Trodons and Compies do. You'll get the benefit of having more and you'll get a little bit more stat boost out of it too. But obviously if you're just running one on your shoulder, that's pretty much going to be the gist of it. They don't seem to fly when they follow you. They kind of do like a running glide when they're following you. So it's not actually running. So, I mean, act, not actually flying. I'm sorry. Um, so when they do follow you, they won't fly. But when they go to harass something, they'll like lunge after a little bit. So pay attention to that. They really don't fly and follow you. So if you have them on follow, not on your shoulder, you can get them clipped on terrain and stuff like that here and there. These guys seem to be a bit forgiving with it. They kind of like meander over smaller rocks like these river rocks pretty easily. But definitely watch that. Uh, to me, these guys can be a little bit difficult, mainly because you typically you're going to find them in the redwoods, and as we all know, there's plenty of sneaky, sneaky stuff in the redwoods that wants to come out and bite you. Plus, there's a lot, usually in the redwoods, you see a lot of this taller foliage hanging around, and it's really easy for them to hide in there, so definitely keep a keen eye on that. Uh, taming these guys is pretty simple. You're going to need a trank dart, some bolas, and some rare flowers, and let's get into it. All right, so Microraptor's usually found out here in the redwoods, and I got one that I'm tracking. Right around here somewhere. Oh god, there he is. So he's gonna hit you, he's gonna get mad, and then they're gonna take off running. They kind of have this hit and run thing going on, and as you can see, this guy's trying to come back after me. Bowl of them and start tranking them out. Um, they're gonna do a little bit of damage in the initial hit, but as long as you're not mounted, it's gonna be significantly easier for you to deal with. And as you can see, she's already out cold, only level 20. They require rare flowers to eat. They need rare flowers. You can use rare mushrooms and some of the other meats, but rare flowers and rare mushrooms are your way to go. Watch their torpor, as you can see. The torpor is going down incredibly. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you got plenty of narcotics with you while you're taming this guy. As you can see, the food stat drops pretty fast too. So the food and the torpor drop you know, pretty quickly. So you're still going to be able to tame it fairly quickly. So you're not using too many narcotics as opposed to some of the large creatures that torpor goes down real quick. But you definitely want to watch that. And as we can see, it is tamed already. Um, it's a pretty simple thing after that. After they're tamed, they can just eat meat. You don't have to keep feeding them rare flowers in order to do any of that. Kind of a tricky tame, obviously. But, uh, I mean, bull is your best bet to go. And you really want to make sure that you're paying attention when you're on mounts. Because they'll knock you off the mounts and do like a stun attack to you. I noticed on foot, it's like touch and go. Sometimes when they hit me, they stun me. And sometimes they don't. Trick is just to have your bola ready ahead of time, bola the guy down and just suck it up. Um, especially if you're on a mount and this happens to you, they might even go after the mount instead of you. And so you're probably, the survivability chances are pretty high unless you're running into like a super high level Microraptor. What you really want to watch for is other area, other guys in the environment. These guys are typically in like redwood style areas. So you want to watch out for all the other nasty stuff. Have bolas um, and have trank darts and you should be pretty set. It's a fairly simple tame. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Taming a Microraptor.
not too terribly difficult. They look kind of goofy on your shoulder. They look like they're way too big to be sitting on your shoulder comfortably, but as we can see, they definitely are. That's it, guys. That is taming the Microraptor. It's a fairly simple tame on this guy. It's one of the shoulder pets. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I would probably say it's useful, but really more so in the PvP side of things than like the PvE side of things. And I know a lot of our stuff tends to lend itself to PvE, but this is definitely more of a PvP utility. But with that being said, the pack bonus does make it kind of useful to have a bunch of these guys following you around. Um, just like most of the pack animals, like the Troodons and, and, and little things like that, if you had a good group of them with really high level, uh, decent stats on them, you could totally run them, have them follow you inside of a cave, and they could probably do a decent bit of damage for you. They do eat meat after they're tamed. You can breed these guys. They do lay eggs, so you can just breed a little massive army of these guys. I like them just for their color options, though, honestly. Like, if you're looking for, like, a cool, like, like really cool, colorful sort of shoulder pet, these guys usually get all sorts of crazy different colors, and... Um, because of the pattern of their feathers when they get mutations and it, it's usually very bright you end up with some really cool color schemes so i would definitely i would check these guys out if you haven't already but that's pretty much it guys that's taming the microraptor if you like the video hit that like button hit that sub button and i will see you all on the next one